You are tuned in to Kids in the Pit. It's Gabe from the Kids in the Pit podcast. Today I'm joined by Peter Escaval from the band x all the way from Norway. Thanks for joining. Hey. So for me, it, uh, it's 11 It's eleven a.m., but it's 5 p.m. there, right? Yep, that's right. Five in the afternoon. So wait, so 17, right? Because. Yep. Okay, because cool. in Norway, it's like different. And also yeah. most countries that, yeah, I'm pretty sure all countries that aren't the U.S. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you guys are weird. Yep, very. <laughs> and we don't use centimeters. We use <laughs> inches and feet and miles and <laughs> Fahrenheit. Yeah. Yeah, U.S. is weird. <laughs> so uh, what do you do in the band x Um, I'm the singer. So nice. singing and screaming, yeah. Cool. So how long has x Tall been a band? Oh, that's uh, many, many years. We started back in uh, 1993, 94. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I don't know, 200 years? Is that what it is? No, well, m- many years. <laughs> like 30? Yeah, like 30. <laughs> Wait, I, no, I, I think it's 30, 100, so... 3,000. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> so where did x start, and do you all still live there? Uh, we started in our hometown. Uh, it's a small place just outside of Oslo. Um, it's called uh, Bærum. Um, and uh, we don't live there, any of us anymore, but we live really close by, like in the Oslo area. So, you know, um yeah the Oslo area is not that big so it takes like I don't know from my place to to where I used to live is like 30 minutes drive so it's it's literally there yeah cool uh, I was just in Norway um who like a week and a half ago or something like that yeah yeah it was awesome I went to so uh we flew out of JFK and we had a six uh JFK New York City um, we had a six hour layover in London and we had, we had to transfer from London Gatwick to London Luton. And then we flew out of Luton to Prague and we had a day and a half there. Then we went, uh, to Budapest, uh, and we had a day and a half there. Uh, and then we went back to London cause we had another 20 hour layover. Then originally we had a six hour layover in Norway, but we extended it um to three days yes um for about like i think it was 119 like each person and uh so and then we just went there to home nice did you enjoy it definitely it was very fun well did did you see any shows in uh, in uh, prague and um where, where was the other place bucharest uh budapest Budapest, Budapest, yeah. Uh, uh, you yes. went to any shows? Yeah. Um. So we do you know the band Counterparts? Yeah. Uh. So they were on tour with Kublai Khan, uh, Paleface, Swiss, um, and Dying Wish, and they mm-hmm. played uh a lot of places. But we went to Prague, and the day after Budapest. Nice. Yeah. So, uh, did you go to Europe all the way to Europe to see those bands, or was so, there anything else you you did? Yes, but no. So we went because of it because we wanted to follow a band somewhere in Europe. But we mm-hmm. also went just like to see Europe. Right. Yeah, it was it was just a bonus to see shows, in my opinion. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, did you eat any weird Norwegian food when you were in Norway? Yes, I ate reindeer um nice i also went to a mexican place and that was good <laughs> yeah <laughs> i don't think i've ever had a churro before and my first one might have been in norway okay nice <laughs> but but yeah, did you was... like the ra- reindeer have you t- tried it before 
uh, no, but the reindeer was amazing. Cool. And and brown cheese. I mean, we we're famous for the brown cheese. Did you try it or brown not? Brown cheese? No, I haven't tried yeah. that. Okay, next time. It doesn't taste like blue cheese, right? Nope. Good, <laughs> it's very different. I hate blue cheese so much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like cool. I can't do it. I can't eat it. So Yeah, the- I, I couldn't either when I was a kid, but now I love it. Yeah. So for those wanting to check out X Tall, what song uh do you recommend they listen to first? Oh wow. Uh that's a really tough one because I mean X Tall we've done so many different kind of styles so like the first couple of albums was really you know melodic progressive death metal and then the third album was more like technical thrash and then the fourth album is is more like you know a a rock approach to it much more melodic a lot of more clean singing so i mean yeah it's very very different so it depends kind of what you like but um it may be, in my opinion, go check out the, the latest album we did, because that's sort of like, to me, uh, a wrap up of everything we did before that. So there was like sort of like a comeback album or whatever uh, that we did in 2013. So, uh, yeah, maybe check that one out. The song called Betrayal. I like it a lot. OK. Yeah. We'll check it out. So I'll, I'll see um, x Tal at Furnace Fest, so I'll definitely check it out so I can learn that song and see your set yeah anyone Good. going to furnace fest go to their set because yeah <laughs> it's gonna be fun so i looked up the meaning of x tall and it means to praise in latin right yep okay i know you are a christian band so that's a really good name so uh have you played shows with norwegian black metal bands or would that just be weird <laughs> No, I mean that that's not weird at all. I mean, we 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 just wanted to play with anyone who wants to play with us. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, but but back in the days it was a little bit different cuz you know, in the 90s and and yeah, I guess early 2000s the the scenes were very divided. So I mean, if you were Christian, uh you sort of had your scene and if you were um, you know, in black metal, you you had your scene. And uh, but we are, we were always you know just wanted to you know combine them and, and uh, play with whomever. But a lot of the black metal, metal bands they didn't want to play with us, <laughs> yeah, because uh, they said that um, metal is for uh, not for Christians. So, but uh, we played with some um, yeah a lot of different bands over over the years. Um, yeah, so no, to us not weird at all. To others, yeah. So, other people thought it was weird. Well, uh, well, yeah. I mean, there are Christian metal bands. There's probably Muslim metal bands. Uh, there's ton more religions, but for some reason I can't think of off the top of my head. But uh, what was the first punk, hardcore, or metal show you attended, and how old were you? Oh, uh, I guess it was a a Swedish band called Jerusalem it's not really metal but it, it was like hard rock it was a band that got me into uh metal back in the days i i think i was maybe 14 years old or something like that that oh, was like nice. my first show yeah but when i heard them the first time i think i was like nine ten years old maybe something like that eight nine ten um and i saw this uh cassette my father had left uh on the kitchen uh counter so uh, one early morning, a Saturday morning, he had had some friends over for a party. And then I woke up early and saw this cassette. And I was like, it was a picture of uh, this, you know, sweaty rock rocker. Uh, yeah. And I, I thought, oh, this looks cool. And put it on. And it was, uh, yeah, this band, Jerusalem. And it was really awesome. So that, that was, I guess, sort of the, my first meeting with hard, hard music. Cool. I got, uh, I got into punk rock at nine. I nice. I um, my first band I liked was Bad Religion, so cool. Yeah. Nice. So, what are some bands you suggest people go see live? 
Uh, dude, I think you are the one. It seems like you are a much better guy to ask because I haven't been to any live shows in a long, long, long time. <laughs> um, so you tell me, what are some good, <laughs> good metal bands to to watch these days? <laughs> so, do you want metal, hardcore, or like punk rock? Uh, I want each? metal. Okay. I want, oh yeah, one of each is good. One of each is good. Yeah. Okay, so metal. Um, counterparts are Dying Wish. They're like metalcore. Yeah. Um, hardcore would probably be. I really like the Girl Biscuits. If you want more screamy vocals, I'd say maybe Sick of It All. Uh, yeah, nice. Yeah, if you want like really heavy hardcore, choose. I would say, um, Hatebreed, and for punk mm-hmm. rock, Bad Religion, The Descendants, just. If you have kids, make sure uh, you check some of the lyrics before showing them a song because they're not <laughs> the best lyrics. Um, yeah, pretty much. Cool. I saw you had an interview with one of the guys from Converge. Yeah. Uh, have you seen them live? Uh, no, I haven't. I, I saw them some years ago and that was insane. That was really, really insane. There, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, I saw Kaven though, his other band. Yeah, uh, I saw them in Richmond, which Rich, Richmond, Virginia. Right. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. So, what is your favorite place in my country that you've played a show in? Oh, you're you're asking so tough questions. Um, because I mean, we 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 toured a lot in the states. Um. Hmm. I'm, you're on the East Coast, right? Yeah. Yeah. But it could so, be anywhere uh, in the US. Yeah, because I think uh, some of my favorite shows was probably on the West Coast um, or down South, like in Texas and stuff like that. Cool. I remember uh, when you say Richmond, I remember a show we did in Richmond, but also a, a show we did in, in uh, a place called Myrtle Beach. I'm not oh, really yeah. sure whether that's, that's... In South Carolina. South Carolina, right, right, right. Uh, that's a long time ago. No, uh, I think some of the like the California gigs we did is probably some of my favorite shows. Yeah, yeah California is a good scene. Yeah, the I chain have... reaction in LA it's a really good uh, venue. Okay, I yeah. haven't been to California yet, but I want to go sometime because it's cool. Yeah, it just like beaches and um sun and big things yeah. with... are you in uh, new jersey or what uh delaware we do border new jersey though but not by right. water there's a little river that separates us yeah yeah so what is your favorite type of american food uh barbecue like uh, a proper yes. biscuit yeah proper bris- brisket that's that's like yeah my favorite. Yeah. Uh, I really like like barbecue stuff. It's just good, in my opinion. Yeah. So, what is your favorite American movie and TV show? Mm, at the moment, I I need to say Succession because it's just so much fun. Um, I haven't heard of it. It's a really really good uh, TV show. It's cool. um. Movies. Um, I mean, you obviously have all the all the classics, but uh, yeah, no, I, I actually see more a lot more TV shows than I see in movies these days. So yeah, um, yeah. yeah, Succession is my answer. My final answer is Succession. Cool. Uh, I just, um, me and my mom just saw the new Evil Dead at the movie theater. Evil Dead Rise, and it was great. It was so bloody. Yeah. <laughs> I loved it so much. It was the best. <laughs> okay, like, I guess I'll have to see it. It was brutal. You gotta watch yeah. it. I don't, I don't know if, yeah. if you can... I don't know if it's in... Where are, are there movie theaters in Norway? Yeah. Okay, a lot well, of them. Yeah, you should... If it's in a theater in Norway, in, near you, go. you gotta go to it. 
Everyone oh, watch it too. If you're into horror, watch it now. Get off this podcast. Go to a movie theater. No, I'm kidding. But you got to watch <laughs> it, everyone. It's amazing. So if you had to add an, an, uh, an animal's face on your body, everything else remaining the same, which animal would you choose? Um... <laughs> It's a very weird question. Uh, yeah, it's a fun question though. C- can I say like a like a fictional animal? Sure. Because then it would be a dragon, a dragon's face. But yeah. I mean, w- but still with my my normal body. Yeah. Oh no, then I couldn't fly. Well, anyway, I'll be a dragon. Okay. Yeah, that works. So, <laughs> uh, if you could tell yourself. If you could tell your 11-year-old self anything at all, what would you tell him? Um, my 11-year-old self, I would say that um, don't take life too seriously. Just go go, go have fun. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Nice. Well, uh, anything to add before we wrap it up? Um, not really. Thank you so much for having me. I mean, yeah, this is a, you're a really cool guy. And uh, I've heard a little bit on their podcast and just seen a little bit. Um, I hope you hope you enjoy what you do. Do what you think is fun. And for anyone who listens, go check out the Extol. Yep. Okay. Can you say something in Norwegian? Uh, sure. Tusen takk for meg. Det var veldig hyggelig å være her. What does that mean? Uh, you don't know that. You don't know what it means. <laughs> nope. Oh, I, it means uh, thanks for having me. It was a pleasure. Okay. Well, um, yeah. thanks to Peter for joining me today. And thanks to all of you for watching or listening. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel or follow me on Spotify and other streaming platforms. Until next week, bye!